Or is it or is it better check for you? So I just wanted to find out uh, Kevin, just a bit about yourself and the background. How long have you been in the hospitality Oh man, I think since Adam and Eve. <laughs> no, um, a good 20 years or so now, in one way or the other. In fact, before that, I had an events company in Durban back in the 90s. So it's always been a passion of mine. Um, the proverbial people's person. Yes. Uh, yeah. Not only myself, my wife. And um, um, over the years, have run various establishments, both in within the hospitality industry, hotels, restaurants, etc., etc., for fine dining, mm. and in variety of places around the country. So you know, come with a wealth of experience <laughs> <laughs> and knowledge as well. Okay. Yeah, you know, you gain the knowledge on the way. Mm. Okay. Now, I'm sure, Kevin, you've never had to experience something like what you are going through now, yeah. uh, especially. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Do you know, it's uncharted territories. Mm -hmm. uh, I come from, a, from a, a family of sailors, and oh, wow. you know, so um, it's uncharted territories. We've hit, we've hit waters, we've hit tsunami-style <laughs> waters. Yeah, not only my industry, okay. industries across the world, yeah. and various industries within the countries, yeah. um, but the hospitality industry in particular has been absolutely decimated by it um, and there's yeah you know we have um, I think for me personally um, how things have been handled or haven't been handled has, has led to the almost collapse within this country. Now to, to, to touch on that I remember the last time we had a chat yeah. you said that it was more of government's response to the pandemic yeah, um, you know, I, I'm not. This is not a time for us to be uh, blaming institutions or governments, etc. Yeah. But at the same time, um, you know, if we just rewind back to what happened yes. and what the government's response was, the government has never dealt with this type of pandemic. Oh, yeah. You know, so we need to be mindful of that. We need to be very mindful that various governments had different approaches. However, therein lies the problem. Um, I, I think I've used the word a number of times to you the last time that some of the policies that were put in place, in my humble opinion, were nonsensical. This time last year we weren't allowed to buy t-shirts, we weren't allowed to buy flip-flops, um, we weren't allowed out of our places, and then eventually when we were, we all had to go out between 8 and 9 o'clock, and then all mass walked around the place. We weren't allowed onto beaches, but you could stand on the promenade looking at the beach. Um, you know, restaurants were closed. Um, we understand that in the hospitality industry, um, there is large, people, large groups of people who don't know each other, interacting with each other, coming for suppers, etc. But at the same time, some of the uh, measures put in place were draconian by by what the government chose to do. Um, we understand that they were trying to stop this. Terrible skirt. Yes. Okay, so Kevin, um, with everything that has uh, happened, mm -hmm. the pandemic and the ramifications that we see, um, how, or let me, let me rather say, what kind of effort will it take for the industry to get back to what it was before the pandemic? You know, I have a certain mindset. One, we don't know how long we are going to be in this bubble called COVID. Um, government really needs to roll up their sleeves as a collective. We need to stop being little ivory towers within government. Government needs to have a plan. We need the vaccine rollout, whether we like it or not. And I don't want to put a foreign substance into my body that hasn't really been tried and tested. But, hey, it's better to have that than, than to be lying in hospitals, being forced to air into lungs that aren't working anyway in a body that's closing down and you're going to die. So I really have my first jab. I have to go back. My wife has had her first jab. And my 19-year-old daughter proudly um, told me yesterday that she's now registered to go. She's going somewhere. Um, and she's done an online thing, and they will let her know, or they'll let her know within the week. So that's the first thing. We've got to have mass immunity mm -hmm. so that we can start working together yeah. as a society. Mm -hmm. 
We need to support local. We need to, if we've got disposable income, yeah. we need to go and spend it locally. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for tourism, there's only two things you need for tourism. And everybody goes on about, oh, there's so many variables. No. For tourism, you need two things. The person who wants to be the tourist has to have disposable income, yeah. and they have to have the time to do it. So, for example, if you've got small children, or children in school, you won't go on holiday whilst they're at school. So then you gear those people up to go on their holidays. Mm -hmm. So let's make, invite people. Let's get the Eastern Cape. They're doing a marvelous job on promoting the place. Yeah. But at the same time, you live in Kamali, you see what the town looks like compared to what it was 10, 15 years ago. We need to collectively start being proud again. We need to be something. Mm -hmm.